Victoria from Explore My World Travel, we are in a very, very special part of the world, which is in the region of Alsace. And um, we are just about to go into a very special B&B, which we're staying at for six days. So come along with me. Let's meet our hosts. As you can hear, um, the only sounds in this part of the world are the birds chirping away and it is just a haven of tranquility and calm. So come along with me and uh, let's go inside. Our host, Philippe. How do you do, Philippe? Bonjour. Fine, bonjour, madame. Tout, comment allez-vous ce matin? Uh, bien, bien. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to talk in French or in English? Uh, uh, both, both. Uh, both? I'm sure there are people who are going to, going to understand both. Hope so. Hopefully for them, because my English is too bad. <laughs> Your English is excellent. Oh! <laughs> He's not on the picture? He, he will be on the picture. He will be on the picture, and the picture will go on to YouTube, and it, millions of people will it, see us. Absolutely, it's hopefully. Fantastic. That will be nice. Hi, I'm Margaret. You can call me Maggie, lots of people do. And um, as you all can hear from my accent, I'm Scottish. So possibly the next question is, most of my guests ask, so how did a little Scottish lassie end up in Alsace? Well, it's a long story, but here's the short version. Um, I used to work for British Airways as a flight attendant and um, I taught flight attendants French. And I met Philippe one weekend while I was doing that in France. And um, I always wanted to start up my own little French school. And from there we went on to doing bed and breakfast, which was uh, very nice. And we've been doing that for nearly 20 years now. Uh, but we're on our third house. So it's been a nice sort of break of six years here, six years there. And we've ended up in Alsace because Philippe's from Alsace. He's uh, my Alsatian. <laughs> that always gets a bit of a laugh. Uh, from English speaking guests and we've been in Alsace for five years now and loving it and we're very happy to be here at La Haute Grange. La Haute Grange, uh, in, if you translated that into English, that means the high barn. So high because we're probably at 600 metres high. Um, we chose the name for the house but I think the name was obviously there before. It's a very old Vosges farmhouse and it dates back to 1834. And there are a lot of these old farmhouses around. We were very lucky to find this one with such a lovely view. There's one right opposite us, which is also at a great height. And you can see, if you're too close to us here to see the whole extent of the house, you can see one, you can see quite a lot dotted around. So you might see some of those later as you're filming around the area. So we've been here for five years at La Haute Grange and we had to do a bit of work to the house to make it what we wanted to represent um, our comfortable bed and breakfast. So we've done a bit of work um, to make the house comfortable, to make it the way we wanted to do it. We like decorating. I think that's probably one of the reasons we've moved house three times in the last 20 years because we love the challenge of making things, I say comfortable again, but um, welcoming and pretty. And, uh, and I hope we've achieved that at La Haute Grange because we'd like our guests to feel as comfortable as if they're in our, well it is our home, but we've made the house as homely as we can. Hi Margaret, good morning, good bonjour. Good morning, good morning, bonjour. Just putting out some nice little, here's the yogurt, little selection. Made some scones today, so we've got some fresh scones. A bit of almond in there, a little chocolate cake there. Oh, how gorgeous. With some banana and walnut in. This muesli you made. This is um, yesterday. Yeah, this is a bit of. I need to top that one up. There's a little sort of granola type muesli. Do you make some, that yourself? I make this one. So I just add in some fresh and dried fruits to that. Yeah, that was this sensational. Is, this is a little mixture of sort of organic muesli that I put together. So they're they're not completely homemade, but they're they're wholesome. Fantastic. You've got the little fire going. And the which fire is, is on. Which is superb. 
Adds a beautiful ambience to the room. Mm. And this is always my favorite meal of the day, your breakfast. La Haute Grange is situated in a, just outside a little village called Frelon, which isn't probably on most of the tourist maps as being part of the Alsace wine route. We're just off the wine route actually. Um, but we're in a little country of its own called the Welsh country. Proper pronunciation here would be the Welsh country. And it's the little part of Alsace that's right up into the Vosges mountains. But we're only a couple of minutes from the wine route and we're still part of Alsace. So um, we're, we're a little bit off the beaten track, but we're so well situated here for everyone's visits down into the wine route onto to Kaisersberg and around up into the mountains from you see behind me. Um, this little Welsh area is an area of Alsace, very interesting because it's four or five villages set up into the hills where they have their own little dialect. They're not, they don't speak the local Alsace dialect, they're more French speaking. We're very lucky in Alsace because we have a year round uh, let's say tourist business, there's something to see every season in Alsace. Uh, in summer, obviously, geraniums are out, we're planting ours today out in the window boxes. But if you came to Alsace in the winter, then this would be covered in snow, so it's a winter wonderland. It's very, very pretty too. Lots to see, lots to do. People go skiing up here in the Vosges Mountains at the Lac Blanc, or just go around the, um, the villages with the Christmas markets that start just below us here in Kaisersberg and run for four or five weeks in December. So it's, it's a year-round uh, place to visit. Alsace is something for every season. There's so much to see and do in Alsace uh, that, you know, what to see, what not to see. We like to discuss personally with our guests. If you come to us at La Haute if you come to Alsace, we'll take time to discuss with you personally what you want to do, how long you're here for, how, what you can fit in. Uh, and we'll take you through on a daily basis. We like to discuss on a daily basis over breakfast or over a cup of tea in the, in the library or in the lounge, what you're going to do with your time here. We'll send you off to see the things that the locals would do in the restaurants, the vintage groups where the locals will eat, places not to go, which are maybe just off the tourist track or too touristy. We want you to have the best time. We want you to have a real Alsace experience, the kind of things that we like to do ourselves, we'll organise that for you. So get in touch with us, drop us an email, let us know when you want to come, something to do all the time, and we'll organise a great visit for you here. You'll go away with Alsace in your heart, like we have. We're very proud of Alsace, we love it. We want you to love it too.